the UAAB season 86, fueling the future. Game number three of our best of three series for the juniors division is the number one seed Adams and Baby Falcons versus the number two seed and new Nazareth Bullpops. The series is tied at one game apiece. And we'll find out the new champion that will be crowned this afternoon. Let's meet our starting lineups. Starting for the Adams and Baby Falcons. At center, number nine, Alan Pettis. Forward, number 10, is Healy. Forward, number 14, Gene Garillo. Guard, number 21, Earl Medina. And the other guard, number 30, Mark Esperanza. The head coach of the BB Falcons is Mike Vermin. Starting for the NU Nazareth Bobas. And guard, number 15, Sidra Roma. The other guard, number 20, Brent Spadaka. Forward, number 18, Elijah Yeezy. And the other forward, number 28, Gav Nebacena. And at center, number three, the MVP, Colin Sakoway. The head coach of the Bullpups is Kevin DeCasto. Our officials this ball game, Ian Bonbe, Ferdinand Manjala, Rafael Rebellion, and the other day, John Benitez. We we'll take a look at the starters for the Adamson Baby Falcons, Earl Medina, Gene Carillo, Mark Esperanza, and a different look in that front court with Zahir Sahili and Alan Perez getting the start for game number three. As for the NUNS Bullpups, we have Prince Baraka, Elijah UC, Sidre Roma, Gab Nepasena, and Collins Akoe. The usual starting five for Coach Kev De Castro. Our referees for today's game, Ian Borbe, Fernando Manyalak, and Rafael Rebellion Jr., as we are live here in the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center, it took us 60 games to get here, but today we finally the lead decide who will be crowned champions of our boys basketball tournament as we are underway. Veroma will start things off. We need to give to Barraca on the alley who play. Esperanza now has it. Esperanza running the break, kicks it out. Medina, the closeout there by UC. Sahili drives, Sahili for two. A surprise rotation by coach Mike Furman to start the ball game. Puts in a different starting five to sort of uh, confuse the scouting report. It works perfectly on the first two points. Reyes and Garcia will come off the bench for the first time in a long while. Akoe on the roll, was tapped away. Adamson has the numbers, Akoe trailing, Perez running the break, too strong on the shot. And the ball will remain with the white shirts. Gonna be a good early break for Alan Perez right here. L running his lane perfectly, but let's watch that first play. Saigili reading that lane, wide open on the drive in the first two points for Adamson. Saigili to Gene Carillo, he was the X factor for game number one. Perez with all day to shoot. That time far to the right and a rebound by Ahoe. Leroma scanning downhill. Two men gave it Collins. Leroma drives. Leroma was bumped and he will take two. Is it Leroma not? Really a guy that we saw on the second half of that last game. But he's been playing huge for NU this whole season. One guy I expect to really step up big time here in game three. Sid the Roma on his first attempt. We did not see him play in the second half, but just a point guard rotation of Coach Kev De Castro with Chad Cartel, Klein Tagotongan, and how about Pilado in that end game, Coach? You know, anytime you need someone with the physicality, you put in the Roma. You need someone with instant energy. You put in Tom Pilado. You need someone who can shoot and lead the team. You have Cartel and Tagotongan, and that is the depth that NU has in terms of that guard rotation, anything you need, you have from your bench. Carillo, that's the smaller Roma, hands it off to Esperanza, Mark, the cross, eight 
Seconds to shoot for Adamson. Garilla drives. Bounce pass. Perez. One dribble over Colin Sakoe. You know, you love Alec Perez. This whole finals, he has been challenging Colin Sakoe, and here he gets his first two. And how about the newly put in starting five, Perez and Sahili, with the first four points for Adamson? You know, in. I'm sure in their training, they are scouting the first five. So Coach Mike Herman wants to confuse the scouting team of NU right here. And so far, it has been working to the side of the Baby Falcons. First, it was a shot by Perez and then a defensive stop by Perez. Fearless against the MVP. And it's the perfect turn to this time. Alan Perez to start the ball game right here. Alan Perez, fearless against Colin Sakoe right here. And Coach Kev De Castro not wasting any more time putting in Cartel, Tagutongan, and Alfanta. With two minutes gone by here in the first quarter. We are in the championship. There is no time for you not to put in your stars. So Cartel, Tagutongan, and Alfanta right away inside. Sahili gives it to Perez. And what a start for Alan Perez. Where is this guy coming from? That's four points now for Alan Perez. He had five points in game number two. That was a big five points from Alan Perez in that game two. We give it to Akolwe. Collins scanning for teammates. Hands it off to Cartel. He receives a switch. Cartel with some separation. That is tough. Oh, man, composed. This guy reads every situation perfectly. Good jumper for Chad Cartel. Esperanza ball fake. Trying to kick it out. Big hands from NU. Tagotongan pushing the pace. Tagotongan stolen away by Esperanza. They give it to Medina. Medina for a three. That's something we don't usually see here in the finals, that a missed shot. Everybody was already standing because every time he is taking that shot, they expect a big from Earl Medina. Tagotongan looking to kick it out. Miscommunication with Cartel that results into a turnover. Usually, this guy is one of the more composed point guards, but it's hard to turnovers coming from Klein Tagotongan. Let's watch that quick jumper from Chad Cartel. These two are going to be very crucial for the Bullpups if they want that victory today. Sahili and Perez has done their damage here in the first quarter. They will be replaced by Gonzalida Reyes. Garcia also in the ball game for the first time. Reyes to Garcia. Tebol to back down Alfanta. Esperanza looks at the clock, sees eight. Mark to JC, flips it up, puts it in. One thing JC Gonzalez can do is move off the ball, can give those screens and know where to put himself. That's a good position by Gonzalez, a good pass coming from Esperanza. An early foul called on Vince Reyes. I'm sure my halong gigil to si Vince Reyes. Oh yeah, he really wants to win this game. Let's watch this first. A quick stick, Gonzalez knowing perfectly where to put himself. With dish as well coming from Esperanza. This lead is already five in the first three and a half minutes. Of course, Bonzanita looking to have a bounce back game. He was fouled out in game number two as well. In the meantime, Akoe slammed it home, but the referees say that's an offensive foul right there. That is a perfect way to close down on the driving lane of Colin Akoe. Let's take a look at this rewind one more time. Reyes is closing down on every lane. They want to force Colin to go in to put the ball on the floor. Handoff action. Reyes has the smaller palanca. CJ driving left, kicking it out. Bonzalida from the corner. That time too strong. It ends up with a poet. Looking to maximize the screen of Akoe here. Alfanta attracts defenders. Quick hands by Umali. Garcia, the go-ahead pass. Reyes backing down Palanca, kicks it out. Umali for three. Bottoms! Four guys holding that ball in that last possession. Team basketball being the main weapon of Adamson right here to start the first quarter. Umali, Sahili, and Perez. Who would have thought? Uh, Smack Mac Alfanta with a Pamatay Sunog move there to get to the free throw line. Times like this, it is the guys who want it the most. Those who are hungry who will get that victory. And so far, Adamson showing more of their hunger here to start the ballgame.
how about Adamson coach? They have reached 11 points almost halfway here in the first quarter. We have not seen Reyes, Garcia, or Medina score. No, it's, it's really the other guys who are making it big time here for Adamson to start the ball game. And that is the type of mindset that coach Mike Fermin instills on every individual that plays for him. You see the confidence in every player. Every time they're open, they're ready to take the shot. And this is going to be one of the crucial uh, key keys for Adams to get the victory. Smack Mac Alfanta goes two for two. Gets this lead down to six. Halfway done here in our opening frame. Garcia looking to go post game against Tagotongan. Garcia on the spin, fall away. How about that shot? Oh, he likes that move. And, and remember in game two, he was asking for the ball on the post. And I think he got about four points and a few fouls. And I'm sure he wants that same threat here in this ballgame. Eight-point lead for the Baby Falcons. As Palanca on the roll. One advantage that NU has is their size. So they have to be able to put that ball down low. The tallest guys right here is Palanca. Reyes in isolation against Palanca. Reyes up and under. Bonzalida looking for a guard. Shot clock dwindling down. Carillo stepping through and a travel is called. Another defense played by Enyu right there. The individual defense was on point. No other option from Adamson in that last session. Earl Medina back in the ball game and Tom Pelado who was a hero in that fourth quarter, oh, is inserted for the first time. He was crucial in that last game. After Klein Tagotongan was disqualified, he needed a guy who will step up in that fourth quarter, especially in the last few minutes. And it was Tom Pelado. And right away, the energy seems to be still here for Tom getting that first uh, two free throws here in the ballgame. Tom Pelado does not run out or run out of confidence. That was his first attempt. That was the first time he handled the ball and he took it straight to the coach. No warm up needed for Tom Pilano. That's why he is instant energy off the bench for NU. As Esperanza coming in for Garcia. We're seeing quick and timely substitutions here for Coach Mike Fermin. I think Coach Mike Fermin also wants to save a little energy for the fourth quarter. We are going to expect a very rough and tough ball game right here. So you want your stars to be fresh from the end game. As Pilano misses his first. Pelado goes 0 for 2. Maybe a little warm up either. Shall we not be maga? Reyes faking the handoff. Goes to the post right away. Paddington fall away. That one's pure. Miss Reyes, really a guy who can do a lot of shots in a lot of different ways. He drank the ball, he stretched out the floor. Now he's showing he also has a fadeaway. A backward violation is called. Palanca and Pelado not connecting on that one. It's Jeff Napa not happy with that. You don't want to have those kinds of turnovers in a game three finals ball game. As we see Commissioner Javi Luna and Commissioner Marvin Medvinida. Of course, no better place to be at than here in game three. Esperanza finds Reyes. Reyes does not hesitate. And Solomon tallies a rebound. Solomon was big in that third quarter in game number two. One well, of the guys that stepped up in favor of that run. Was Solomon. Cartel will give it to Pelado. Now to Akoe at the post. He has been silent so far. Akoe drop step. Too long, too strong. That is Colin Sakoe. He's MVP for a reason and showing why in that last possession. Gonzalida looking to stretch out. Akoe, JC, tough reverse. He tracks his own miss. Esperanza, 2 plus 1 special. It's the heart and the hustle of this team that has kept them number one the whole season long and led by that guy, JC Montalida. He's down on the floor, never gave up. Saw his cutting teammate is getting a foul and the bucket. And it's this kind of heart that can end the 31 year drought for Adamson. Mr. Poetry in motion, as we would call him. That's another poetic shot for Mr. Mark Esperanza. You know, I want to, to watch a whole highlight reel only about Mark Esperanza this whole season because he has poetry in motion as you could say, Jaime. As Adamson doubling the score of NU, with seven minutes gone by, Alfanta has a lane. Alfanta sidestep beauty. Alfanta was the main guy for NU. 
good strong hard drive there. Esperanza. To Vince Reyes. Takes another handoff. Vince backing down Nepasena. Finds Umali in the corner. That time short. CJ. And another travel is called. That might be a miss for Adamson, but it's the pace and the space that's allowing him to get wide open shots here in this ball game. Everybody is going to their spot. That is why they are able to either get the drive or the wide open shots. So NU has to be able to adjust on their defense right here. Pelado looking to orchestrate the offense. Map map awaits a Solomon screen. Alfanta, tough angle. That one rattles out as Bonzalita gets aboard. Esperanza with a burst of speed. Medina for three. And Medina a little bit colder here to start in the first quarter. I'm sure he wants to take those kinds of shots. If you're coach Mike Furman, you want to continue to give Earl Medina that confidence in taking those shots because that is a shot that he can get eventually. So he does not have to stop taking those threes. Pelado against Omali. Alfanta at the right side. Solomon sets the screen. Map Map looking to find the roller. Another steal by Adamson. Medina pulling it back out. And then to give it to their point guard. JC hands it off to Omali. Omali had nowhere to go. Finds Esperanza. The baseline drive and the finger over to. Quick first step to the baseline. Mark Esperanza reading that situation perfectly. Solomon, floater, nothing but net. Quick answer by NU right here. Not even seven seconds into the shot clock. Quick floater by Solomon. Less than two minutes remaining and Adamson and NU trading baskets here. Reyes. Attacking Nepasena in the middle, looking for a back door. And teamwork making the dream work for Adamson. Everybody getting a touch off that basketball. Everybody in white, even if their eyes are closed, would know when someone is cutting perfectly executed play right there for Adamson. Pelado looking to get things going on the offensive side is not hit rim. It's tough for Tom Pelado, not a shot he usually takes. Esperanza now with the leather. He has been phenomenal here in the first quarter. Esperanza again for two. 24 points in the first quarter is too much if you are in you. This is a finals game three. You want to be able to play good defense. Esperanza now with seven big points to open things up. Alfanta, Meri, that one's good. Mapa Alfanta now stepping up six points for Mapa Alfanta. The shot clock is off. So a chance for the Adamson to take the last shot of the first frame. Esperanza and Reyes looking to work a two-man game. Clock reads five. Esperanza. Tough shot. And that will do it for our first ten minutes. Adamson coming out with a vengeance. there after the end of the first quarter. Well, I was enjoying that time out. Everybody having their own little ways here. The Adams 
and faithful in full support. That's uh, Fred Tabella of the Seniors Division. How about Adamson in that first quarter forcing seven turnovers for Edu and had ten more shot attempts which gives them a nine-point lead as we enter their second quarter of play. Adamson even having more made shots than Edu's attempts. 11 of 19, a very efficient 57.9% for Adamson while Edu only nine attempts but still efficient at 55%. Carillo has the height advantage against Tagotong and Perez flips it up, does not get the bounce, but Carillo cleans it up. You know, Carillo always knowing where that ball lands. He's one of the crucial guys here in the whole finals as he has been given extra minutes by coach Mike Furman the whole final long. So Lamont looking to get a hallway open. Alfanta attacks Medina, kicks it out. Tagotongan to Uso. That one stripped away. Garcia with an all alone shot. And now the lead is into double figures, 26 to 15, and you call it a timeout. Game one, game two, game three. Adamson has been reading that passing lane perfectly. And here to start the ball game, they've already forced. as well along with the NU crowd trying to will their team back in the ball game Mac -Mac Alfanta and the Bullpups down by 13 what's some, some of the adjustments NU has to do here coach in the second quarter we want to take care of that basketball they already have eight turnovers early on in the ball game that is giving a lot of extra opportunities and easy baskets for Adamson to start here. That is why they are down 13. But you can never count NU out because in that last game they were down 15 late in the third quarter. An instant surge in that late third quarter. Only in under three minutes they were able to come back. So Adamson also has to be wary of the ability of this NU Bullpups team. NU has not led in this ball game. It's been all Adamson so far. Koe, Solomon, Alfanta, Tagotongan, and UC will be tasked to storm a comeback here. So early on in the second quarter. Because Kevin not taking any more chances is putting in his veteran five right here. One guy I want to see heat up is Elijah Yuzi. We remember last year's playoff where Elijah Yuzi just instantly lit up in that shooting column. So this is one guy that I want to see get his scoring here in the ballgame. Pressure applied by Carillo on Alfanta. Akoe, top defense was there. Alfanta for three. A battle for the rebound. The referees pointing to the side of the Baby Falcons. Early on, the game plan has been on point for Adamson, both offensively and defensively. That is another good stop for us by Alan Perez on Collins and Cohen. Garcia asking for a screen on Perez. They give it to Medina. This is a nice matchup here. Earl Medina on Alfanta and a carry is called. So my coach Giggles to see Earl Medina coming off a big game. You know, he wants to get his scoring going. That is a good intention for Earl Medina. But so far, Edu has been putting their eyes on Earl Medina. So it has been a hard time for Earl in getting his points here in the ballgame. Still scoreless so far, 0 for 2. 
Seems like a zone here by Adams and Coach. It's an extended zone going down to a man for Adamson, really to push out Collins Akoe. Akoe found on the roll, and Collins will take two. It's one way to get things going here for the MVP. It's a little late on the rotation with Sahili right there. But you want to get Collins Akoe going. He is the MVP for a reason, been dominating all season long, but only 16 points in that last game because of the good step up of his other teammates, but in a time like this, where the stars need to shine, this is where NU needs to be able to utilize their MVP calling the goal. So Poe goes two for two. He has been steady from the line here in the entire series. He's been learning, this guy is young, and he knows that he needs to step up in big times like this. Garcia the double cross, Perez, another basket inside on that patented flip shot. Alan Perez already extending his point call up to six. One more point compared to his game two performance. Two minutes has approached here in our second quarter. Tagotongan for three. And Perez with a great box out. Alan Perez is a workhorse here in the first half on both sides of the floor. I recommend Alan Perez doing it both offensively and defensively. Usually the whole season long, Adamson would go small ball, but it's been great at the five, JC Bonzalina at the four, but Alan Perez is getting extra burn here in defending college of Owen. Medina drives, cut off by Alfanta. Carillo, another flip shot. That float game of the Baby Falcons has been on point here. Alan Perez, now Gene Carillo. That short paint has been a friend to Adamson to start this ball game. Now the biggest lead of Adamson with 15. And you still without a field goal here in our second frame. They give it to Akoe, kicks it out. Tagotongan fires for three, and he puts it in. A great Tagotongan, this guy is their leader. Anytime they need a comeback, he is usually the guy to start that run. And here, that is a big three to finally get them going here in the second quarter. Carillo, closely guarded by UCG, kicks it out. Sahili drives. Sahili up and under, off the glass for two. That is textbook dribble drive offense for Adam. And utilizing the whole space they are given inside the court. Sahili with four and Perez with six. Akome tried to go drop step. There's a wall formed by the front court. Agotongan putting it inside. Nepasena from the free throw line. That one too strong. A battle for the rebound. Akome with a bang in the bucket. Good hustle coming from Collins Akome. He could not get his drive. Good double team by Adamson, but he continued to stay active on the board. Two white shirts, no problem, says the MVP getting that man in the bucket. Let's face it, Coach. Adamson did everything they could on that defensive possession, but the MVP will do MVP things as Garcia will be taken out for a quick breather. But really, Sahili and Perez in today's game, that's something I'm sure no one expected coming into a game three. Well, even we were surprised by them starting the ball game, but it seems like Coach Mike Furman, of all the people, knows his personnel very well, and he trusted them the keys to start the ball game, and perfectly, they stepped up right away. Esperanza kicks it out, Reyes, shot fake. Hands it off to Medina, back to Reyes. He fires a three. Reyes yet to get going here. Vince Reyes still struggling in game two, but not really by a pocket. Vince Reyes again here in game three. Not really his best offensive game yet, but still able to produce defensively. Tagotongan looking to give it to Akoe. Ball denial there from Reyes. Alfanta, two-man game with Solomon. Alfanta drives. Ball being tapped around. Akoe putting it back in. No! It's Vince Reyes running the break. Medina from the corner. Still a no-go from three-point land. Ball is saved to the wrong jersey as Tagotongan running the break. Tagotongan, another three. Back and forth action we go. Not the best execution for NU in that last session. Perez to Reyes. Carillo 
the offensive rebound and a foul on the floor. Welcome in Gene Carrillo. Every time Adamson is attempting a shot, he goes for that offensive rebound. And that pure effort coming from Carrillo is giving them a lot of extra chances. Well, Medina and Reyes are one for seven from the field. Uh, Stompilado will check in along with Chad Cartel. For the story of the ball game, rebounding, going to the side of Adamson. Plus five assists, plus five as well. Turnovers, minus four for Adamson. So they have been taking care of that ball much better than any here. Gene gets the first pass. Reyes back to Carillo. Shot clock down to nine. Carillo elevates for two. Gonzalita with the rebound. The pass to Reyes. Anticipated there by Akoe. They have eight seconds to score here. Esperanza, what will he do? Gonzalita from the corner. Pelado completes the rebound. Three on three fast break. Pelado with the sidestep. Hang time. That one no go. Esperanza to counter. What a pass. Oh and three in motion. That is Mark Esperanza for you. Akoe was pushed by Bonzalida and the coaching staff of NU asking for an unsportsmanlike foul. We have to look at this poet do his poem once more. Off balance, off hand, mid-air. How harder can that pass be? Yet he was still able to find his wide open teammate in that last play with just what a beautiful pass coming from Mark Esperanza. You really have to thank Mark Esperanza for giving us justice, for giving him that poetry, Mr. Poetry in Motion nickname as Vince Reyes is on the floor right now. I think he's just tying his shoelace. Oh, yeah, just tying his shoelace right here. Nothing scary over here. But the referees are reviewing that last play. If this was an unsportsmanlike call on JC Bonzalida, it might be because he was not going for the ball. Question going for NU right here. Still a little, a little hungover on that Esperanza pass. That's something you don't see every day, not even in the seniors division, coach. Not even in any basketball uh, league. That was just a Mark Esperanza move. As the referees continue to review that last play. Well, Esperanza now with seven points and three assists. It's a regular foul. Nothing all too intentional, just could not really control his rhythm going forward because of that fast-paced action. This is the lead, of course, one in the one of the heart and souls of Adamson. I remember talking to him the first game of the season. I said, what will your role be? Sabi niya, kuya puso lang, hasel lang. And uh, he could not be any more right. Because that is exactly what he brings to the table for Adamson. As Colin Sakoe misses his first attempt. Sakoe is leading the way with Mac Mac Alfanta. But they are looking for those X factors like Prince Baraka and Tom Pelado in game number two. It's a very deep team, a team with a lot of talent. But it's just who will step up? That is the question. It's the game three of the finals. The game where the stars will shine the brightest. And right now, Ed Adamson is leading by 12.
Jerome Lastimosa is gracing his attendance here in San Juan, and that is how exciting our UAAP Finals Game 3 is. Speaking of big games, Jerome Lastimosa, not shy of big games, looking to give his energy to this Baby Falcon squad, who is now up by 12. Gonzalita looking to extend that, no go. Cartel with a veteran move, and the ball shifts to NU side of things. You gotta commit that. And every time they are missing, they are going for that offensive board. They want to get extra possession right here. And so far, they have 14 more shots compared to NU. That is because of the energy and the effort they're bringing on the offensive board. Six minutes has gone by in the second quarter. You see, with five seconds to shoot, mid Ranger will bite. Give it to Esperanza, the early screen by Reyes. Mara kicks it out, Vince finds himself open over a Akome Ponsalida. And he is loving that one, he is all hyped up. Story of the ball game, the extra opportunities. That is eight offensive rebounds for Adam Tanir in the ball game. 15 more attempts compared to NU. And in that last play, even lucky to get a foul is J.C. Fontanita. The lead is already 14 for Adamson. As Fontanita makes his bonus free throw, this is now the biggest lead of the Baby Falcons, 39 to 24. And you just looking for a sense of rhythm and a sense of flow on their offense. You see with the flow game. Uh, right on you. They're looking for that guy who can put points inside that paint. And uh, Elijah, you see going for that quick drive. Omali, left side drive, Reyes. That's the taller Solomon. Reyes to JC. Thought about it for a second. Chalk clock down to six. De Jesus off the bench, Omali short, Akoi with the rebound. Pilato the go-ahead pass, Cartel waits for more numbers. He wants Akoi at the post, Collins on the entry pass. Banging bodies with Reyes, that one goes out, but Solomon puts it back in. Now, and you realizing that they have the advantage on that side. So Lamon and Akoi are the tallest guys inside the court. Four straight points off the paint. Paradis and you. Jesus to JC. Esperanza waves off his teammates, wants the ISO. Mark the Hezi, the float game. There is nothing else left to say. All we can do is smile. I mean, that is the type of ball game that Mark Esperanza is showing us here in game three. Cartel from the elbow. It's back of the iron. And Reyes skying high for the rebound as we approach our two minute mark in our second quarter. Reyes. Get Solomon to bite on that pump fake. Foul was on the ground upon the attack. We just have to see this one more time. Crossover, hesitation, another crossover. Colin Sakoa in front. I'm going for the float. It's Mark Esperanza. Skill, talent, IQ. This guy is just complete. Someone with him, Bohok, your swag. Oh, the swag. Right now, Esperanza and Adamson enjoying a 13-point lead. Carillo drives to his strong side. Omali finds Reyes, shot clock down to five. Reyes for three. That time too long. This time he decides to drive. Nepasena was prepared for the pass. Good hands by Gap Nepasena there. Pilato to Nepasena, looking to go high-low. Opts for the handoff. And Akoe, that's done and delivered when he's that deep inside. That's good positioning by Collins Akoe. He knows the advantage down low. Now that Alan Perez is not inside, he's getting more touches on the paint. Reyes elevates for the elbow jumper. Gonna get it from the outside. Vitreas goes a little closer, getting its first mid-range shot here in the ballgame. Pelado looking to beat the press. 
They get it across. UC drives, looking for contact. Akoe was stripped by Medina. Ball will remain with the blue shirts. That's a good swipe coming from Adamson. Let's watch that last play for him. Good seal, good position, easy basket for Collins and Goe. But on the next play, quick, quick, quick. Pick and pop for Vince Reyes. Easy two coming for him. And that last shot from Reyes, those were the shots he was hesitating in game number two. But right now, Mr. Make, he is sure he's going to take that shot. He knows that he's a talent, and this is the time where he has that goal signal to shoot. Vince Reyes is going for every open shot. And Adamson defenders clogging the lane as Akowe bulldozing himself inside to take two free throws. Coach Mike Furman looking at his bigs right here, putting back in Sahili to put it a little more size down low. So it was the two guys who forced Collins and Kowe to struggle in the first quarter who are back inside Sahili and Alan Perez to end the second quarter. Akowe challenging Perez, looking for that drop step. Solomon stretched to get that rebound. Solomon just vital on the putbacks and the cleanup jobs. And you're getting all of their points inside the past five possessions. They really want to be able to the height advantage they have whenever Solomon and Akoe is inside the court. Uh, Solomon is short on his first free throw. Sister of uh, NU volleyball player Eliza Solomon, who is starting their season this in weekend. A few days, so the UAAP is not done after the juniors basketball. We'll be having our women's and men's volleyball. A very exciting season ahead. Solomon could not convert on those two free throws. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. Sahili, patience, but too strong. Four seconds difference between shot clock and game clock. Straight to Akoe they go. And Akoe straight to the basket. Another two free throws for the MVP. Another game plan right now, but to put that ball down low. Each and every possession call is Akoe is asking for that basketball, wanting to attack hard, and here he will get another two free throws. Akoe now in double figures with 10 points, along with six rebounds. Question is, when will the shooters of NU heat up? So far, NU only four attempts here in the ball game. One out of four. Adamson not yet having the best shooting day in terms of three-pointers. Only one out of 13. But it, it's their inside that is making the biggest change. 34 points inside of paint on 81% for Adamson here in the first half. Akoe goes two for two. As the Adamson Baby Falcons will call a timeout. An 11 point lead and 17 point. Touring Falcons. Such a supportive community here. 
supporting the juniors division. In the meantime, Esperanza with nine seconds to work with, hands it off to Garcia. Now Torres elevates and does not get the bounce. Garcia rejected, and that will do it for our first 20 minutes of play. Adamson soaring high in the first half with an 11-point lead, but summarized that second quarter for us, coach. A very, very strong start by Adamson there in the second quarter. High-paced offense, everybody really running for Adamson, but to end that second quarter, they put that ball down low in the end you, and they were able to get a lot of buckets to cut the lead down to 11. And Mark Esperanza continues to sizzle. We'll see if we can do
been a long time ago. But this is a very interesting lineup from Coach Mike Furman, putting in the one-two point with Esperanza and, Rie, uh, and uh, Justin Garcia. But Reyes will be playing the four, and Alan Perez will once again be tasked to try and stop Collins going on the other side. The usual starters, except Mac Mac Alfanta, will be trusted to start the second half. As uh, so we welcome you to our third quarter live here in the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center. Hi, Mescalon with Coach Juanito Gregorio. Series tied at 1-1. One and one. Akoe does not hit rim. And Palanca starting off the third. The Twin Towers right here. Palanca wanting to go down low right away. Trying to get his position ready for an easy two. Let's see if Mix Balaka can be one of those magic bunos for Coach Kev De Castro. Esperanza behind his back. Esperanza, nothing but net. So you play the triple drive and you have a talent like Mark Esperanza. It makes your life so much easier because of the space given for Mark Esperanza to operate. Quick cross, quick behind, quick shot. Collins looking for cutters. Finds UC and a three-second call on Mix Palanca. Now it's a defensive adjustment by Adam. Let's watch there. Cross behind, step back. Sempre Roma can only do so much if you are defending Mr. Poetry in motion. Esperanza. We'll give it out to Perez. Looking for Medina. He has not scored a field goal just yet. Garcia goes to his strong side. Garcia with some separation for two. Off the handoff, Adamson is able to read their situations perfectly to start the third quarter. They give it to Akoe. Has Perez on him the entire game. Looking to go high-low against Malaka. Adamson was prepared. Esperanza was bumped and Esperanza was fouled. It's just terrific defense being played by Adamson. Three white shirts ready to help out inside the paint. Watch for this move by Justin Garcia. Quick bump, quick space. Getting enough space for him to get that shot. And on the next play, they were able to force a turnover against Collins and Koe by defending that paint terrifically. Alfanta and Tagotonga checking in right away. Offense has been a problem here for NU. Koe with a monster rebound. About number seven for Collins and Koe. Perfect pass. Palaka, four points now in the third quarter. Good late run by Mix Palaka. Late to help air the picks of Adams in that last play. A handoff to Medina. Earl gets a switch. Esperanza asks for a screen. Mark attacks Akoe. Rejected by the MVP. Maybe there's one guy who can try and limit the production of Mark Esperanza. And that is the MVP, Collins Akoe. But you still gotta love the confidence of Mark Esperanza to try it against the number one shot blocker in the league. Shot clock down to five for the Baby Falcons. Garcia to beat the buzzer. It's back of the iron, and Tagotonga with a rebound. So far, four points have been taken from the mid-range for Adamson before shot attempts, I mean. Tagotonga settling things down here. And Apoe is holding on to his right thigh, I believe. Seems to be a little hurt here. You never want to see that side. I believe that's his hamstring coach he is holding on to. Never a good side to see, especially in a finals game. See what happened here. Ooh. Seems to be an accidental hit coming from Tebal Garcia. We'll see what the referees decide on that one. As the medical staff coming into his aid. I do hope the best for our colleagues of Kauai right here. This is the finals game three. We want all of the best talents to really show out that he's been playing good. 12.7 rebounds and two blocks already for the MVP Collins Akoe. Akoe will be limping to the sidelines. So we'll take a close look at that if he can come back as his team is 
needing him right now, down by 11. Only 2.30 has gone by here in the second half. A lot of bigs in this NU bench. You have Jed Salomon, you have Mix Palanca, you have Gabne Pasena. So a lot of guys that can step up here, as we see Commissioner Javi Nuna again, Marvin Benvenida in close look of this finals game. So Solomon and Palanca will be the Twin Towers for now. A combo that we rarely see uh, together here in this season. Black Map receives help defense. Alfanta, that's a signature shot. That's a good use of the screen. He's able to read the space well after using that screen. Good. Lead back to just single digits for Adamson. And a foul was called on Mix Palapa. A little slower ball game we are having here in the third quarter after an action pack first half we had. Garcia attacking Solomon. Shot fake, Bonzalida for three. Adamson just one for 14, shooting 7%. From beyond the arc, remember at one point in the season, Adamson was the top three point shooting team in the league. But any point of the ball game, this team can get hot, and that is something that Andrew still has to be able to be aware of. The Baby Falcons now in a full court press. Looking to give it to Tagotonga, and right at the nick of time, Solomon with the relief. Alfanta sends it to Solomon. Tagotonga and awaits a screen. Two man game at the right side. Clean to UC for three. Package delivered. And don't look now. This is a ball game in front of us. 5 0 run for NU. Cuts the lead down to six. Adamson has seen this story before, and they did not like the ending. Lin Nagotongan, one of the guys that can really create for his teammates, getting all of the attraction down middle, seeing a wide open teammate on the corner. Two possession lead, Medina to answer. A battle for the rebound, referees pointing on the side of NU. One out of 15 from three pointers are Adamson. This is not the best shooting day they've been having. You see. Dangerous pass there to Tagotongan, leading to that turnover. Turnover number 11 for NU here in the ball game. So they've been making a good run here in the third quarter, but they have to be able to do a better job in taking care of that basketball if they want a full comeback here in the ball game. The referees reviewing this last play. Space to operate for NU right there. The plane Tagotong and forced to slow down Gene Carillo via that foul. So that's the third personal foul of Clay Tagotongan who needs to watch out for his fouls. It's a regular foul for Clay uh, Tagotongan right there, so no two points at possession. It seems like Colin Sakoe with super healing Wolverine powers is back in the ball game. It's a good sight. Uh, there's nothing serious for Colin Sakoe. And the Maria Pectus there for Garcia. Reyes with all day to shoot. And he could not convert from beyond the arc. The struggles continue for Adamson from the three point line. Galado rushing to go down court. Tom straight to Akoe. Collins. Two dribbles, and Reyes with a power rebound. Four minutes has approached. 
and you're winning the quarter so far. Reyes, no, Bonzalida, yes. Right place, right time. JC Bonzalida always knowing where that ball will land. JC Bonzalida now with seven points and six rebounds. Make that nine points and six rebounds. Lead back to eight. Pelado to Akoe. Help side from Reyes. Shot clock down to seven. You see, shot clock down to five to beat the buzzer. Tough shot, tough shot, but Elijah Yuzi is a born scorer. Stepping up here, already five points for Elijah Yuzi here in the third quarter. Two-man operation in the middle. JC gives it back to his point guard. Garcia now with a switch. Reyes can't hit the midi. Alfata with the rebound. Chance for NU to inch closer here in the ball game. Pilado. Entry pass to Akoe. He's looking for cutters. Looking to back down Bonzalida. Akoe misses. And Akoe still no go on to put back. A recycled 14. Akoe to Alfanta. Goes straight inside for two. That is what NU needs. All of the eyes of Addison are on Colin Akoe. Five guys ready to help. So someone has to be ready if Colin Akoe kicks that ball out. Alfanta now in double figures as well with 10. Cuts this lead down to four. Garcia with some hand time. And he will get to the line to try to silence the crowd in this run of NU. So far here in the third quarter, a 13 to 6 run for NU. You see there, three white shirts defending Collins and Cohen. Eventually, someone will get open. And ready for that pass is Mac Mac Alfanta cutting the lead to four. More than halfway done here in our third frame. Action picking up on the offensive side of things. That's just in. Tebo Garcia at the line. Now with six points, a mythical five member in this year's season. Talk about it being his last game, and your last game is a game number three, do or die game. You feel it. You feel the atmosphere here in San Juan Arena. We are filled to the brim, and I am loving it, Jaime. Garcia goes two for two, and the crowd, the crowd of Adamson is alive. They get more creative as the quarter goes with their celebrations. In the meantime, two possession ball game, Pelado will give it to Alfanta. They reverse it to Cartel, shot clock winning down to eight. A foul, which will put the time back at 14. It'll be the third foul on JC Bonsalida. It's been huge this ball game, so they have to be able to be careful on the foul with JC Bonsalida. It's Perez on Akoe, but Akoe says, let me do my MVP thing as he trims his lead down to four. 14 points now for Collins. Collins Akoe has been utilizing that move whole season long. That drop step working to perfection once again. Gonzalita drives, has nowhere to go, and a travel is called. Oh, space to operate for JC Bonzalita. Good help side coming from NDU, forcing JC Bonzalita to go for a tough pass. There's a chance for NU to cut the lead to one or two here. NUNS doing a better job at taking care of the ball. Only with 11 turnovers, they had 25 in game number two. They had eight at the half of the second quarter mark here in this ball game, but they were able to adjust. That is going to be a turnover for NU. Esperanza to Perez. Strip from Cartel. A foul was called. Coach Jeff Napa, Coach Kev DeCastro telling Cartel to relax. You did your job going down court. One thing I love about Alan Perez is that each and every time Adamson is running that break, he is just running his lane, which will give so much opportunities for either him or his teammates to be able to get to their spots. And right there, he was able to get that ball down low and get the foul, two free throws for Alan Perez.
That foul, though, did put NUNS in the penalty, which will mean two free throws for Perez, who started this game and has been such a great factor for Coach Mike Fermin with six points. And distract the NUNS fans. Back in game two, Alan Perez scored a huge five points that was able to give them a big lead in the third quarter but then he was able to erase all of that via that run but we know how huge Alan Perez is especially when defending Colin Zakoe here in the finals so a two possession ball game after that second attempt goes Pilado stolen away by Umali Esperanza to Sahili thought about it for a quick second Sahili sets the screen Esperanza the turnaround a battle for the board it ends up with Pilado difficult pass to Palanca Palanca attacking baseline and a foul is called Mix Palanca silently having six points here in the ball game he knew he had that size advantage against Gene Carrillo, so he really wanted to attack inside, forcing that foul on Gene. And Mix Palanca has been a big difference here in the third quarter. He started that third quarter with four points. So it will be a baseline inbound by Chad Cartel. Akoe on the receiving end, blocked by Garcia. Cartel still has it. Chad whips it up. Loose ball ends up with Adamson. Terrific interior defense by Adamson. Four white shirts inside to play defense. And Garcia looking to maximize more time here. O'Malley to Carillo. Looks at Sahili wanting a screen. Gene on the spin, the bounce pass, Perez flips it up over the hole. Once again, who is moving off ball, Alan Perez knowing where to go. Sahili with a steal, O'Malley with a finish. Just like that, a quick 4 to 0 run by Adamson will extend the lead back to 9. And the San Marcelino fans are going crazy. There's also the NU Seniors supporting their juniors division. But right now, NU just looking for ways to break this press that has been giving them a difficult time. Tagutongan has checked in. Alfanta on the floater and Solomon skying high for the putback. Textbook press break right there. Perfect opportunity for them to get an easy basket. Lead back to seven. Two minutes remaining in our third quarter. Garcia has Alfanta on the matchup. Garcia, one legged fall away. Tagotongan with his veteran presence just looking to calm down his team here. Down by three possessions. Akoe has Garcia lurking in from the help side. A steal again from Adamson. That's three straight. Oh. The ball will remain with NU. Good recovery by Temple Garcia. He wanted to go for that blind side steal on Colin Sakoe. Leaving Mac Mac Alfanta wide open. Yet he was able to recover on that passing lane. Almost a turnover. But the ball will return to the full box. 
Medina checking back in. Still scoreless in this game after a 23 point outing on game number two. Bertel with a change of pace. Medina with the steal. Medina to Garcia for the touchdown. Good leak out pass coming from Earl Medina. Quick hands getting that steal. And once again, this lead will extend for Adamson. Alfanta pulls it back out. Finds Tagotongan in the corner and does not get the bounce. Akoe gets the basket and the foul. You gotta love the guts of Clay Tagotongan. Every time Adamson is trying to extend this lead, he steps up and tries to get buckets. And going to this last play, that was a good twice from Adamson. Good leak out. This is gonna be another chance for Collins Akoe to cut it back to six. Poe with another double-double performance with 16 points and 11 rebounds. This will be his bonus free throw. Misses the bonus free throw. Caught it up at the... 75%, 6 of 8 here in the ballgame. Umali has the speed advantage against Solomon. The pass to Perez, and that shot has been straight money. And that will put Allen Perez at double digits at 11. Six points coming off that floater. Now he is tasked to guard a stronger Akoe. Yes, Collins Akoe answering right back. And Collins Akoe realizing that he has more muscle than Adam Perez powering through that last play. A chance for the Baby Falcons to take the last shot in our third chapter. They start off with Garcia. The cross against UC. Garcia banks it home. Good pump coming from Tebo, getting enough space to get that floater in. And Tagotongan with a heave. And that will do it after three chapters of play. And you. For the juniors division and the future is bright for the UAP because an MVP named Colin Sakowe is here to dominate but he needs to do a lot more as his team is down by nine and this is where you buckle in coach Juanito game number three fourth and final quarter but this is where the stars shine the brightest and we've seen an NU comeback in game two let's see if they can make another one here in game three Garcia kicks it out. Reyes shot fake. Vince drives against Solomon. Almost, but not quite. He will be attempting two free throws. Vince Reyes aggressive despite shooting just two for 12 in today's ballgame. It's the mindset of Vince Reyes. He's the leader, he is the star. And each and every time he gets an opportunity, nothing is changing his aggressiveness in taking those attacks. 
we saw in game one how crucial Vince Reyes is, especially in the end game. And that is the mentality that Coach Mike Furman is trying to remind his star here with strong attack for Vince to start the fourth quarter. The lead back to double digits. He goes two for two. So it's UC Tagotongan, Alfanta, Solomon, and Akoe. Look at Tagotongan begging for that basketball. He is unafraid against this press. As he was fouled there by Omali, looking too much aggression. That's what you need from Tagotongan. He's a trusted team captain for a reason. He can really settle his team whenever he is inside a court. That is how crucial he is for the Bullpups. That is why he wants to be able to handle this offense late in the ballgame. You see to inbound from the sideline. Akoe double teamed. And they foul on the ground, the referees are saying. That foul might just be on JC Bonzalida. Oh, check that. That is not on JC Bonzalida, who needs to watch out oh, yes. for his fouls because he already has three. You need JC Bonzalida late here in the ball game to add muscle on that defensive end for Adamson. Alfanta. Too strong on the attempt. They rush to get that basketball and ends up with CJ Umali. Garcia to JC. Bonzalita thought about it. Back to Tebo. Pocket pass. And JC Bonzalita with a difficult shot. That is a tough shot coming from JC Bonzalita. Well defended. Good recovery. Yet JC Bonzalita was able to find a way in getting that throw. Another foul on Umali, the first. Let's take a look at this rewind. Let's watch that. Mahak Alfata able to recover. Ball in the coin, putting his hand up. But just pure talent coming from JC Bonzalida. So Ramon will be sent out. Nepasena will be sent in. Esperanza is back in the ballgame as well. Got Nepasena crucial here late in the ballgame. He needs to be able to stretch out the floor to be able to extend the defense of Adamson outside. Single coverage on Akoe. Tagotongan with seven seconds to shoot. Tagotongan with four seconds. And a tough shot there. Great contest by Bonzalita once more. The defense by Adamson the first to stop. Reyes, Esperanza open for three. And he almost gets the bounce. Bonzalita with the putback. JC Bonzalita putting in his heart here in the fourth quarter. Moving perfectly without the basketball. Staying aware on the offensive boards. And these four points of JC Bonzalita is enough to extend the lead to 15. JC Bonzalita has all the heart in the world. 13 points, 6 for 11 from the field with 7 huge rebounds, coach. The motor that JC Bonzalita is putting in here in the game, in third game is a crucial for them. And once again, Adamson is able to force a stop. That's got to hurt for Coach Kevin Castro. Especially coming off a timeout. 
turnover story, 17 for Enyo. And this is something that Adamson has changed. They had a lot more turnovers in game number two, just with seven in today's ball game. They're going into this ball game a lot more composed on their offense, not rushing on anything. That's why they are able to execute better on their offense. They give it to Esperanza. Has the mismatch against Solomon. Esperanza to Bonzalida. Esperanza with the putback. No one wants to give up on every possession, each and every time they're missing. They want to be able to try and get offensive rebound. That is why that is 14 big second chance points for it, Adamson. Cartel, they need this basket. That time too strong. Medina with the rebound. Two minutes has gone by. Now a 17 point lead for the Baby Falcons. Esperanza and Gonzalita, the main characters of the second half. Dangerous play there. Garcia with three seconds, two seconds. Gonzalita to Reyes and a travel was called. That's better defense being played by NU right there. Quick ball rotation, yet NU was able to recover each and every time. Those are the stops you need here in the fourth quarter for you to slowly inch closer to the lead of Adamson. Pelado will check in as well as Gene Carillo for Mark Esperanza. Which Mike Fermin looking to go taller for defensive purposes. Add a little more size here. Pelado with a burst of speed, pull up jumper. They have been dead silent here in the fourth quarter. They have not scored in almost three minutes of play, coach. So far, they are struggling in terms of getting baskets here in the fourth quarter. Reyes dared to shoot. Air mails the three. And Reyes continues to struggle from the outside. Zero out of five here in today's ball game after also going zero in game number two, but still able to play and produce uh, different numbers. This is Reyes. Delado almost trapped in the corners, but Zalida the go ahead pass. Carillo with the ball. Unsportsmanlike foul is called and a two plus one special. And things are getting heated up here. This is just reminding everybody stay focused, play the game well. But let's watch this. Tom Pilado trying to stop Gene Carrillo. Tough shot, but pure athleticism and skill coming from Gene Carrillo. Getting that shot in even after a hard foul. And Gene Carrillo slowly feeling that championship heat. Gene Carrillo, who has now eight points, four assists, and three rebounds. We did not notice him, we did not feel him in game number two. He was the X Factor for game number one, and now another solid performance. Gene Carrillo just providing whatever is needed from him, either from the scoring, rebounding, or even giving away that basketball. Gene Carrillo really adding a talent here in this deep roster. I'm surprised he even got that shot across. in terms of scoring down low but that is just the game plan and scouting report being set in by the Adams and coaching staff as the referees continue to review that last play So it looks like it will be an unsportsmanlike call by our referees. That will mean the ball possession will go back the side of NU even after the free throw.
If you're a new coach, you have seven minutes to make a magical comeback here with something they can do. They have been struggling from three point line. All the other guys that need to step up Alpanta, UC, Solomon, Palaka, Collins, and Poe will always be there. He will be the star. He will always be a threat down low. But he needs help in terms of scoring. Only eight attempts coming from Altanta. Only five attempts coming from UC. And they have to get their outside game going. Only seven attempts from NU this whole ball game. And that threat has to come up in the last six and 52 here in the ball game. And if you're the Adamson community, you're the San Marcelino community, you've waited 31 years. What seven more minutes? And that seven minutes, coach, it will be the longest seven minutes of oh, waiting yeah. in their entire life. You know, 31 years is long enough for you to be able to win another championship. You are so close. And if you are the players, all you need is to play the same, continue to stay consistent, and eventually that crown will go to the side of San Marcelino. And coach Mike Fermin seems to be focused on getting that championship back to Adamson. So Gene Carillo with the with sportsman like free throws. With the Nandla make with that weight. So check that, that was the basket and one free throw by Gene Carillo. Vince Reyes will be shooting the two technical free throws. And then ball possession for Adamson. This will hurt and you. You want to make a run. You have yet to score a bucket here in the fourth quarter. And you give up possibly five to six easy points. This will be 21 point lead for NU in the last 6 and 52 of the ball game. Salida and Colin Sapoe already starting the action without the whistle there. And you needing to come up with a stop here to try to start their run. Reyes to Medina. Three-pointer. Still scoreless from this ballgame. They recycled 14 for Adamson. Carilla two-man game with Vince. Gene the drive. Emergency pass, Medina with two seconds to shoot. And Reyes. That's a shot block violation, so there's that stop the bull pumps were looking for. That is the type of defense they need to play each and every possession down on the defensive end for them to inch closer. But it's the consistency on their defense that has been the problem for NU. Tagotongan sends it over to Alfanda. Tagotongan drives, Tagotongan rejected by Bonzalina from the help side. Bonzalina now also doing it on the defensive end. He forced Collins of Coe to go up top, getting there in time for the help side, and JC Bonzalina forcing that block. Knock now to so UC. Tried to go for the step back. Entry pass to Coe at the post. Collins drops there, Bonzalina comes from the help side. Akoe trying to put it back in. And the wall of Adamson winning another battle. Medina, three-pointer. Bang! Finally a three for Earl Medina. He's been looking for it the whole ball game. And what a time for it to come to extend the lead to 24. That has to feel good for Earl Medina. Because coming into that shot, he was 0 for 5 from the field. This is his first field goal. And it couldn't have come at a better time. Adamson have been one out of 18 from downtown, yet Mark Esperanza says, let's continue to trust our offense, you're wide open. Biggest lead of the Baby Falcons. Four minutes has approached in the fourth and final frame. Alfanta takes it straight to the top. That is the type of offense they need quick in under 10 seconds. They need a lot more of those.
They look for Carillo. Medina steps back for three, blocked by Solomon. And JC, like a ninja in the night, coming out of nowhere. JC Ponzalina just reading that blind side perfectly, seeing a wide open ball, getting that steal. Medina, give it go with Carillo. 13 seconds on the clock. Gene was fouled by Mahmoud Alfanta. And this possession wouldn't be possible without JC Bonzalida. Uh, this fourth quarter has been all about JC Bonzalida getting four early points, getting that steal, getting a block. JC Bonzalida just really putting out his heart. That's uh, Agent Charlie D in attendance. Reyes reverses it to Medina, opts for the handoff. Clock down to three and a foul with two seconds remaining on the shot clock. Size advantage going there on the post of my client. Pagoton was forced to pull his defender and they are in penalty. So this will mean two free throws for Adamson. More than halfway done here in the fourth quarter. You know, Adamson, they are leading and they are scoring, but they're just waiting for it. They're waiting for that final buzzer. But, you know, it's a consistency and the discipline of Adamson in terms of their offense that really gives them an edge. It's not always going to be the same type of shooting, the same type of scoring for Adamson, but they continue to trust the offense set by Coach Mike Perman. And that is why they are able to get this good run right here. But that is going to be an easy basket on Mamma Alpanta. Lead back to 22. And you're looking to pull multiple stops. You get multiple baskets here. Esperanza tapped away by Akoe. Tagatongan scanning down court. Finds Uso. He finds Alfanta, Mac Mac for three points. Mac Alfanta stepping up big here in the fourth quarter. That six straight points coming from Mac Mac Alfanta. And more importantly, he is doing it in under a few seconds. Mac Mac Alfanta being aggressive, cutting the lead here for NU. Back here in the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center, Mac Mac Alfanta with back to back baskets, giving NU a glimmer of hope here. Down by 20 though, with four minutes remaining. Garcia pressure to fly up high. Carillo. Get some separation, Gonzalida, another offensive rebound. It's going to be offensive rebound number 20 for Adamson. Pure effort coming from every individual in white. Gonzalida shooting two free throws here. How about this kid? You mentioned him, one of the most humble. One of the nicest and hardworking kids. If there were a star of role players, that's JC Bonzalida for you. Oh, never needing that basketball. Never wants to go for that ISO ball. Just really moving without that ball. Trying to go for those every offensive rebounds. And if you have someone who hustles that same way, it just 
really affects everybody else. So what a heart this kid brings in. And his fingerprints are all over the fourth quarter with that N.O. start. That started with J.C. Bonzalida. Uh, six points, three rebounds, one block, one steal. All in the fourth quarter. Para dito kay J.C. Bonzalida. Medina with great defense. Not allowing any space against Alfanta. And Garcia looking to milk the clock here. Garcia gives it to Reyes. Help defense comes. Medina catch and shoot three. Package over. Steady, ready for the three. Earl Medina just knowing what to do after getting that basketball. And now he gets the steal. Medina takes it all the way home with a baby slam. And don't look now. The crowd of San Marcelino is up, up on their feet. And we feel the championship by the going to side of Addison. Earl Medina is feeling that right now with five straight points. Timeout and you. You has changed, the crowd has changed, yet the energy remains. That is the same effort this Adamson team is bringing. Look at Ponsalida tapping that one out, Medina on the run out, and we gotta give it to Elijah UC not giving up on the play, no easy baskets. The San Marcelino community May just be three minutes away from winning a title after 31 long years. Five guys in double figures for Addison. We saw, so, we saw Coach Charlie D, now Agent Charlie D. But he's not based on the picture. Oh, yeah. Still stays the same. Coach Charlie D, of course, being also proud of this team right here. He's not really going to be able to see Coach Charlie D. Of course, it's a history lesson, too. They were coming up with six feet. And in 1993, they have not won again. For Adamson, this was their redemption year, coach. This was their year to do it all. They lost game number three against FEU in season 85. That was a close game as well. Stagutong and fires a three. Garcia with a rebound and a foul by Alfanta. Going back to your point, it's the pure hunger that every individual is coming into. After a graduate in Peter Rosilio, everybody was in question, who will step up for Adamson? And the answer is clear. Tebo Garcia, Mark Esperanza, Vince Reyes, JC Bonzalida, Gene Carrillo, Earl Medina. Such a deep lineup. Whoever Coach Mike Fermin puts inside the court is ready to produce for Adamson. And just a terrific season being played by the Baby Falcons. As Vince Garcia at the line, he elevated his game from 85 to season 86. Now a mythical five member in his last playing year in the UAAP. The thing is, coach, for NU, they will be even more, be more dominant next year. Akoe is coming back. Mahma Alfanta is coming back as well. It's going to be a deep team next year, so I'm sure the same hunger will be put in the same way Adamson played this year. So uh, next year, the Bullpups will be a team to watch out for. As Prince Barata is holding on to his elbow. Accidental uh, slip by Prince Barata. Usually, ganun naman yan, coach, di ba? Yung... You know, 
second place, the loser of the finals, goes into the next year even more hungrier yes, because you have like NU. You have something to prove. You know, you already got to the finals. You already have the talent base. It's just really the mindset, the aggressiveness, and the hunger in getting that win. So next year, with a loaded team in NU, this is going to be a very scary team to watch. I'm already excited for season 87. And we have to give props to the NU and us Bull Pups. You know, people were kind of expecting, okay, a veteran team like Adamson probably has Game 2 in their hands. And here comes Klein Togutongan and Kaolin Sapoe really making that difference to force a Game 3. Yes, you know, this team is tough. This team is talented. But it's just... Pure determination coming from Adamson here in Game 3. That is the biggest difference. And Rui may be two minutes away from crowning the white and blue their championship after 31 long years. Baraka. Give it to Solomon. And Solomon season might be over, but volleyball season is coming in this week and you can watch his at the play men's and women's you can watch that right here on Filipinas Live he's talking about championship and NU we know that their men's volleyball team is the champion and the NU women's volleyball team is in the championship as well so when we're just talking about championship caliber the National University has always produced good production in terms of their athletes Mark Esperanza, Mr. Poetry in Motion. This whole finals series was just a poem from Esperanza, who really peaked at the right time as well in that second round. Early in the first round, he was the backup of uh, Tebol Garcia, but in the second round, he was able to adjust and even play alongside Tebol Garcia, making them a very deadly one-two punch. And he has a few more years here in the UAAP. When we're talking about future talent, Adamson has Mark Esperanza up their sleeve, as well as Earl Medina playing one more year next year. As well, captain. one player who does not have any more years is Klein Tagatongan. Oh, yes, their captain, Klein Tagatongan, graduating this year, doing a terrific job as their leader. And I'm excited for Klein Tagatongan as well if he decides to go the NU route as he will be adding to the talent level of uh, Steve Nash Enriquez and the MVP Reinhard Humamoy. So that is going to be an exciting uh, trio to watch. And Garcia is playing like they are down by 23 points here. Coach Mike Furman is getting ready to sub out his seniors so they can deserve that really great farewell. As Bonzanita fires one off, Tagotongan comes up running. Tagotongan pulls up for three. And well. Substitutions here, Coach. Well, Vince Reyes and Garcia have seen their last minutes here in the UAP. Well, this serve standing ovation coming from his teammates, coming from the crowd, coming from their families, you know, coming from the juniors division. This is the most emotional part where you are leaving on a good note. We see tears. We see tears of joy coming from their teammates and these are tears that make me proud as well as a former juniors players props to these kids for fighting their hearts out here in the UAP. What a tribute that was. And I'm sure Vince Reyes and Justin Tebel Garcia will not forget that moment for the rest of their lives. Bringing back the championship to San Marcelino after 31 years. Laying their hearts out for Adamson. What a good moment for these two. And this win here, this championship win here, it's not just for this team. It is that for that season 85 team, that 84 team, the teams that waited for 31 long years. You know, as they say, trust the process. And now process complete for Adamson finally getting that crown back. Everybody up their feet. They are feeling the championship heat here in the last 30 seconds. 
seeing some ball pressure applied. They waste the clock, 25.6 seconds remaining. What's 25.6 seconds when you've waited since 1993, Tagotongan? That's one way to end your career here in the UAAP. Three straight threes for client Tagotongan. And the shot clock is off. Adamson, which Mike Furman. Moments away. The crowd is feeling it. With two seconds. And the wait is over. 31 years without a title. Naibalik na ang corona sa San Marcelino.